Hey everybody, welcome to Two Your Cooks. I appreciate you joining us. Thought I would fire up my Weber kettle using the slow and sear today. I hadn't used a slow and sear in a while, folks. We're gonna fire it up. We're gonna slow smoke us some beef short ribs. It's gonna be delicious in the end. Y'all stay tuned. G Roy. G Roy Cooks. G Roy Cooks. G Roy Cooks. T Roy. Austin, Texas. All right, gang, I wanna show this to you real quick. Now, as I've mentioned before, I'm in Austin, Texas, and if you're in the Austin area, this place called Rosso and Flynn, they, they hand cut meat and deliver it to you on Sundays. And you have to order by Thursday every week. But anyway, I'm giving them a try, see what they're like. Let's open these up, man. Let's check them out and see what's going on with them. And I've ordered a couple of times from this place, and uh, the only thing I hadn't been impressed with is their bone-in, uh, ribeyes. Uh, got bought carrying a bone in ribeye once and it was like all bone and no meat. But I ordered a regular ribeye and it was jamming. So I don't know. But this is the first time checking out their short ribs. There's a nice close up of their, uh, their, their website, not the website, but uh, anyway, Rosso and Flynn. I'm just going to keep the rub simple, folks. A little salt and pepper. Just like that right there. Looks pretty doggone good to me. I was expecting a little bit more meat on there. But, we're going to give them a shot, folks. We're going to check them out. Yeah, some of these have some meat on them. Tell you what, I'm going to bring these inside. I'm going to rinse them off, pat them dry. We'll meet y'all right back. All right, guys. That didn't take long at all, right? There you go. Throw a little salt and pepper on there. And then we're going to throw those on my... Slow and sear on my Weber kettle here. And we're right about 240 on there right now. I'm trying to shoot around 250. And I am going to roll these over on the sides and salt and pepper both sides, but I'm not going to salt and pepper the back. So let me get that done. We'll bring you right back, folks. All right, guys, let's go ahead and I'll show you my setup. Slow and sear is over here and I'll start the fire on this end. I've got some pecan wood, just some chunks on there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put these bone side down. Try to put the, the meteor in towards the fire. I think that'll work a lot better. Just like that. All right, we're just gonna let these babies rock and roll. I may uh, decide to spritz them here in a little bit or do something else to them, but if I do anything different, bring you back, or if I just wanna check on them, I'll bring you back. Let me get that out of the way so you can kind of see them. Looking good, right? Ha! We'll be right back, folks. All right, gang, it's been about an hour and a half. Look at there, look at there, isn't that gorgeous? Oh man. Now they still feel pretty tight, so we're gonna let them keep going, but I am gonna rotate them around a little bit. Some of these in the back I'm gonna put in the front and vice versa. There we go. And we're gonna put the lid back on, let them keep going. We'll bring y'all back here in a little bit, folks. Make sure you put your vent over the meat. There we go. Folks, we're three hours in. I'm still riding about 250, 255, but Tell you what, man, these are looking wonderful. Check that out. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Good stuff, man. Nice pullback from the bone. As you can see on this one right here, big time. See, nice pullback on the bone. And they're still probing kind of tough. So again, we're only three hours in. I'm expecting maybe a five, six hour cook. We're gonna let them keep going, but it's gonna be dark. If the sun's fixing to set on me, I still got plenty of coal over here. I got plenty of water in my slow and sear. I'm just gonna let it keep rocking and rolling. We'll catch y'all back here in a little bit. See if I can show you what they look like when they're done. All right, gang. These beef ribs have been on there for six hours. They're done. Let's check them out, folks. Tell you what, can y'all see that right there? That's some pullback on the bone right there. And let's see how tender these come off of the bone. Just like that, folks. Separate really nicely. That's what you're looking for. That's how you tell when they're done. This is like burning on a stick, folks. You gotta check this out, man. It's some good stuff. That bark, that bark on here, man. That bark is gorgeous. Now, I didn't show it on video, I don't think, but what I did do, same as last weekend, uh, last week's video, where I did them pork ribs, I spritzed these, uh, these ribs with a little bit of the uh, pomegranate juice, all right? Just to, just to help develop a little bit of bark on there because salt and pepper don't really give you a whole lot of bark alone. So uh, anyway, 
Let's give this a try. Let's see what these taste like, folks. That's so tender. Mm. That's seriously tender, folks. Mm. You get that true beef flavor from that simple rub. Salt and pepper, man. Mm. Maybe next time you use a little bit of garlic. A little cayenne. I like that personally. Folks, salt and pepper. On beef, on brisket. That's the way to go, man. Beef ribs, brisket, same kind of cook. This took about six hours, doing about 250 to 260. It's fabulous, folks. I appreciate y'all joining me. Hope y'all like these kind of cooks, because I know I do. <laughs> if y'all like this, though, y'all give me some thumbs up. Hope you share the video, folks. And when you do, please tell all your friends that T Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody. Good. That's good, Fifi. Mm -mm. Want some? Come here, Fifi. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Fifi. Yum. Mmm. Fifi likes that. <laughs> Woo! Doggy, that's good. Mm. That's good stuff, folks. Check out later.